Hey guys, welcome to Cutesy Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Princess Peach in her wedding dress. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, let's first start off by zooming in on the head. Let's start with two curves near the top here for the eyes. Next, underneath, toward the center, let's draw two large ovals. And then inside, on the top right, let's draw a small circle. And then in the center, let's draw another circle curve behind it. And then let's color both of the pupils in black. Next, underneath, let's draw a small curve. Lastly, let's add three eyelashes on each eye. And that's it for the eyes. Next, let's move up and draw the eyebrows with a curve above each one. Next, let's move down in the center and draw a small curve for the nose. And below it, let's add a curve for the mouth. And then one more smaller curve below for the bottom lip. Now let's hop up in the middle between the eyebrows and let's draw two curves up, forming a curved V-shape for the hair. Now step down from the top and let's draw an angled line out and back up at the end. And the same on the right. Then for the ends, let's curve it back in and up. Now let's hop down and draw the pieces of hair next to her face. Let's start by drawing a curve down and then curve it back up. And the same on the right. Next let's draw the bottom shape of the face. Let's draw two curves coming down to a point in the middle here. Next, let's add the earrings. On the side, let's draw a circular curve on both sides. And then add a curve above it for the ears. Next, let's hop up and finish drawing the hair. Let's start on the top in the center here. Let's draw a curve over to the left, down and flick it up at the end. And let's do the same on the right. Now for the ends, let's curve it back down and in. And then one more curved piece of hair up and back down to finish it off. Next, let's hop to the top and add the crown. We'll start in the center above the head and draw a large oval shape. And then let's draw another one inside. Now on the 
left side, let's draw two curves down like this. And the same on the right. And then inside, let's add one more curve. Next in the center, above the middle gem, let's draw a V-shape up. Then angle it out on the sides and back down. And that's it for the crown. Next, let's move down and add the body. Under the head, let's draw two small lines down for the neck. Then let's curve it out and down for the shoulders. Next, inside the neck, let's draw two curves for the necklace. Next, let's hop down and let's leave a gap. Let's draw two curves down like this. And then from the top, let's step down and let's draw a curve across for the top of her dress. Next, before we continue drawing the body, let's draw the bouquet of flowers. Underneath on the left, let's draw a small circle and then draw five petals for the first flower. And let's do the same thing on the right. Now on top in the middle, let's draw a smaller one in the same way. And then move underneath and let's draw a larger one in the middle. And then two small ones on the sides. And then one more set on the bottom corners. Next, underneath, let's draw some pointed V-shapes for the leaves. Let's start with one on the left, one on the bottom right, again on the bottom left, in the middle, one more underneath, and then one more in the middle here. And lastly, for the bouquet, let's add the ribbon hanging down. Underneath in the center, let's draw two lines going down and out. And the same thing next to it on both sides. And then close off the bottom of the ribbons. And that's it for the bouquet. Next, let's move back up and draw the arms. From the shoulders, let's bring it down on both sides. Then let's angle it down towards the center under the bouquet. Now 
inside, let's draw a line down on both sides for the inside of her arm. And let's add a curve at the top of the arms for the gloves. And that's it for the arms. Next, let's hop down and draw the bottom of the dress. From underneath each elbow, let's draw a curve down on both sides. Then let's hop in the middle underneath the ribbon and let's draw a curve down on the left and on the right. And now inside each of these sections, let's draw a curve at the top. And then one more underneath, bringing it up at the end. Now let's hop back down to the bottom and let's draw lines down on both sides. And then a wavy line across the bottom. Now inside the bottom section, let's draw two lines down in the middle here. And then two on the outside. And that's it for the dress. Next, let's hop back up and finish drawing the veil and the hair. Let's start on the left side and let's draw two lines down like this. And then an angle to close off the bottom. And now let's do the same on the right. And now next to it, let's draw another angle down. And then for the end, let's curve it back in. Next, let's hop down and finish drawing the bottom of the hair. Let's draw an S-shaped curve down and then curve it back in at the bottom. And the same thing on the right side. Next, let's hop out and draw the bottom layer of the veil. Let's start with an angled line down on both sides. Then a wavy line down. And then in the curve, we'll just draw a small curve up. And that's it for Princess Peach. Now let's quickly color her in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.